Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily apply a site template to a SharePoint site. So let's say you um, have a communication site or a team site, doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe you created one, or maybe you had uh, your IT department create one for you. Um, obviously, uh, if, you, if you're the owner of the site, uh, you can go ahead and customize it and you can obviously uh, edit the page and add all the different elements, all the different web parts, change layouts, uh, maybe apply some branding, etc. cetera. Um, obviously, that's option number one, all right? However, uh, what if I am relatively new to SharePoint and uh, you know I just uh, want, want to see what's possible, all right? I want to add some models right away uh, without customizing it manually. In this particular case, we now have a way uh, to do just that. What you need to do is navigate to the gear icon. You do have to be a site owner to do that, all right? If you're a, re a regular site member, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. So click the gear icon, apply a site template. And what you're going to see are different templates that uh, exist, uh, essentially out-of-the-box templates that you can apply to your site. Uh, now, I also want to mention this. Uh, we actually have this functionality uh, for some time already, uh, and uh, we had it uh, on, uh, you know, managed on the site called Lookbook uh, by Microsoft. And essentially, uh, this is the site where you could um, uh, you could browse through different different templates that are available, and if you like a particular one, uh, you could actually install it in your tenant. All right. So essentially, that what we have here is you no longer need to go to this lookbook uh, website that Microsoft maintains. Uh, you can just pretty much install a template uh, right from your SharePoint site. So there are different templates for different, you know, I guess styles and different types of sites. Uh, let's just say, you know, we have a PMO department here. We want to install this department template, uh, and you can kind of browse and see what you are going to get. Uh, essentially, what the template is, it's just pretty much a package of uh, several web parts already added to the page for you. That's all it is, all right? That's all it is. So if we like this template, we can just click Use Template. And it doesn't take long, um, in just literally a few seconds, uh, the template is going to be installed uh, on your site. Uh, and essentially, the default out-of-the-box look and feel will be converted to, uh, you know, to, to the template, uh, you know, look and feel. Very important to note is that uh, if you had content, you know, like document libraries or lists, um, you know, or some other pages on your site, uh, they're not deleted, all right? It doesn't delete anything you created. It just literally adds uh, this additional, you know, page. And it, as you can see, uh, it pretty much created. That's what it did. We applied the template, all right? Uh, and, um, um, you know, essentially, like I said, it's a, a collection of, um, you know, web parts, uh, you know, some widgets uh, already added for you. Obviously, you can now go ahead and, uh, you know, modify the page and uh, customize it even further. Uh, what I just showed you uh, is something we did on a communication site, on a team site. Uh, this is the site that's part of a Microsoft 365 group. Uh, you have the same option. Uh, as well. Uh, and once again, you need to be a, 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 an owner to do that. Gear icon, apply a site template. And of course, because this is a team site and not a communication site, we have a, we have a different style of templates. So in my case, this happens to be a team site for a project. Uh, I have a template uh, for project management. So let's use that. All right, right here. And once again, we are going to uh, get the template uh, installed. While it's doing this, I want to come back to the site and show you something else. So if you go to gear icon, apply a site uh, template. But so by default, you will uh, see the templates uh, available from Microsoft. All right, um, these are pretty much templates available out of the box. However, uh, your organization can also create your own uh, templates. That requires a bit of coding. It's not something you can easily do and save your site as a template. Um, uh, this is uh, probably a, a project for IT. Uh, but if you, you know, have certain branding standards and uh, you want your sites to be consistent, uh, what your IT can do is create a template, uh, you know, behind the scenes and upload it essentially here. So uh, if this is the case, you would also be able to install templates uh, that were created by your organization. All right, so I'm back on my team site now. Just wanted to show you what it did after we applied the template. Once again, uh, it just literally uh, added a bunch of web parts, um, you know, that uh, in this case are going to be uh, helpful with uh, 
project management on my project site. All right, uh, so that's all uh, there is I wanted to show you in today's uh, video, uh, a pretty cool uh, functionality if you are new to SharePoint, uh, new to uh, editing you know, SharePoint pages and want to get some ideas, uh, I think this functionality is great. It's going to give you some ideas on the web parts that exist and what the possible layouts uh, exist. Uh, once again, thank you very much uh, for listening and watching this video. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.